We are in uh, Sport Plus 4. I mean... Oh. Oh. Good morning, guys. Well, the truck's warming up here, uh, about to go to work, but the I'm just checking out the two powder coating colors that uh, you know we're pretty much settled down on. This is candy purple, and the other one is illusion purple to match my intake. Um, looking at this, I think illusion purple is going to be, you know, the, the actual winner here for this uh, truck build. All right, guys, so while the truck is coming up to temp here, we got an awesome mod we're doing today, and we got to do another thing that involves my exhaust tip and stuff like that. Like I said, some of you some of you commented in my last video and were like, whoa, two in a row? And I'm like, yeah, uh, like I said, stuff's going to start getting crazy here because mods are going to be coming in fast. Uh, a lot of informational things that you guys are going to want to learn and want to know how to do are going to be coming in uh, fast and a whole bunch of stuff. So get ready, because this, this, these next few months here are about to get crazy. All right guys, just got done with work. I am beyond, beyond excited to um, introduce to you guys the newest sponsor of this Daytona build, this truck, and this channel. Um, this is gonna be exciting for you guys, because you guys benefit from this one as well. Uh, today on my truck, we will be installing Yes, that's right, the pedal commander on this truck. Um, I've had this, you know, in the works for a while. Absolute game changer. And what's mo most impressive is the first time I ever used the pedal commander was, was in a Subaru Outback. I put a lift kit on it and it already had it in there. And, um, dude, incredible, incredible change to the throttle, throttle response, all of that. It was an awesome product and I, and I used that thing years ago. And you know, I've been working on this for a while and um, Pedal Commander was on board with becoming a sponsor for this and a sponsor for the channel and a sponsor for you guys as well. Use the code LIME10, L-I-M-E, and uh, one zero LIME10, you get 10% off of your Pedal Commander purchase. So that'll be uh, very uh, helpful very helpful for you guys and I'm very interested in trying this out on this truck uh, like I said I had it in a Subaru but the thing is on turbo vehicles it removes the turbo lag on you know naturally aspirated vehicles it gives you more pep remember this isn't a tuner it, it, it's a throttle response system it, it, you know it'll increase your throttle response but in you know turbo vehicles it's gonna give you quicker spool uh, and get rid of the turbo lag as well which is incredible so we're gonna see how this works on a manual diesel truck and like I said if I'm I was blown away in that Subaru I'm pretty sure I will be blown away in this Cummins truck all right so on my tip here this is what we're dealing with I don't know if you can see it but this this piece of metal just kind of I don't know if it was the cold weather or what this this weld in here popped so I'm a I'm just gonna tack weld it real quick and we'll get on with the pedal commander install I'm just tired of it rattling when I'm driving, so I'm just going to tack it on and be good to go. So guys, Pedal Commander also hooked us up with some lanyards and uh, decals and a Pedal Commander jersey. So that is awesome. Super, super neat on that. But here we have the Pedal Commander itself. If you guys are interested in getting your Pedal Commander, like I said, use the code LIME10 at pedalcommander.com. And like I said, in that Subaru, life changing. Uh, obviously that was in an automatic, naturally aspirated motor. So we will see how this handles in a manual turbocharged diesel pickup. So install is super simple on these guys. They give you some 3M so you can stick it wherever you want 
They also give you dashboard wipes to prep the area where you want to stick your 3M. We open it up here and we'll be able to take the pedal commander out of its case. And here is your pedal commander. This is, this is it. If you want to just use this, stick this on your dash, no problem. You have all your adjustments needed. Switch between your modes and switch your throttle sensitivity within each mode with these buttons. Three buttons, super simple. The next thing you will notice on this, it says Bluetooth. These new pedal commanders have a Bluetooth app that will hook straight up to your phone and you can control all of these settings within the phone app, which is awesome because you could take this zip tie it up underneath your dash. You never have to see it if you don't want to. And that's another thing about the pedal commander. It looks nice. It's not an eyesore at all. This thing is beautiful. Uh, it looks you know, sophisticated and it looks, sticking this on my dash, I have no problem with that. But I just gotta find a location where my knee doesn't hit because obviously with the clutch and all that stuff, my legs are moving constantly. So we're gonna install this now. I'm gonna show you how easy this actually is. Clutch, brake, and here is your gas pedal. At the top of everybody's gas pedal, there is an electronic plug that um, pretty much you pushing this nowadays, uh, there's no more cable. So nowadays there's always an electrical connection on these throttle, and gas pedals so all you got to do is unplug this just like that you're going to plug the female end into that and then the male end back into your gas pedal lock the tab in and there we go that's the complete install guys there you go it's pretty much it like i said it's a t-harness into your uh, gas pedal and now your controller is here this is pretty much just a rubbing alcohol prep pad. I'm gonna prep this area here. And then peel this one off too. And we'll be able to come in here, set it up where we want, which will be right here against that wall. And we'll be able to stick. Like I said, it's also Bluetooth, so you don't have to um, you don't have to stick it to your dash. You can hide it, however. For me, you know, turn the key, adjust your throttle right here. It'll be super simple. All right, guys, so like I said, uh, we have the pedal commander set up here. Right now, it's on City Plus One. Just for the effect of this video, we're gonna set her on Sport Plus, and uh, let's go to four here. I should probably get on flat ground before I uh, uh, attempt this, because I'm gonna roll. Oh. Four plus, that's... I'm moving like eight trucks around here. There's a truck over here with a plow. There's another truck coming from over here. We are in uh, Sport Plus 4. I mean... Oh. Oh, sh**. Gnarly. Oh. Yeah, see? Told you. You thought I was messing around when I was in my Jeep. Yeah, but this is awesome because it's supposed to uh, eliminate turbo lag, and I can tell you that it's there immediately. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, my rear end is about to yeah. fly out. Oh, I can't drive. I literally cannot drive. Dude, what the heck? I don't know how touchy it would be in like a diesel though. That's incredible. If anyone has like the 68 or an Ison, this would be incredible. Oh. Oh my God. Your tires just broke loose again, didn't it? But, oh dude. That's nutty. Oh, I, I just don't want to get on it because I know I'm going <laughs> to wipe out. But, oh. Oh. That's incredible. That changes your whole driving experience. I can't even, oh, that's awesome. Um, I'm running on the hot tune, tune five too, but like if you just realize that your pedal's gonna be more touchy, uh, you know, you can easily learn how to, you know, throttle your, uh, I mean, feather your clutch and stuff, but oh, that changes the way you drive dramatically. That's awesome. Oh. Man, it's just there. Your throttle's there. There's definitely no lag on that. That is incredible. I know I told a few guys on Instagram that I was getting this, and um, they were wondering how the uh, <laughs> the turbo 
<laughs> the turbo lag is, uh, you know, if it's gone away and stuff, obviously I have my intake and the tunes, but incredible guys. Also, uh, it's part of the, um, on diesel power products, there's a horsepower or horsepower recipe. And one of them is a throttle booster. And I can tell you that, I mean, just because, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I can tell you that, oh, <laughs> I gotta get used to that on the low end. But I can tell you that um, the pedal commander, oh, the th oh my goodness, game changer, game changer. Like before getting like first, second, third gear, those gears are a little on like the low end because it takes so long for the turbo to spool and stuff. But like, um, I know a few people who were, uh, like who just did second gen swaps, everything diesel and uh, Ram Beast projects, they both did second gen swaps and the low end is definitely adjusted. But even the low end with the manual is like kind of eh. But this pedal commander definitely knocks it out of the park. This driving is like barely any throttle, but the turbo and the boost and air, oh my goodness. Spool is there. It's just ready to go. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And this is on Sport Plus 4. So obviously it's gonna be wild. Um, you'll eventually get used to it, but you can always adjust it down. Uh, there is an eco mode that's supposed to save fuel, but that I don't think that's gonna help with diesel. I mean, I don't think that's gonna help this instant because you need uh, the turbo to be spooled up to get the results you want. So, oh guys, this is incredible. Like I said, obviously I can't see it from my uh, driver's seat, so it's hidden, but when I need to adjust it, everything I need to do is right here. But like from the driver's seat, it's hidden out of the way. You need to adjust it, everything is right there. If I had a wide open road, that shift right there would be incredible. Oh my goodness. Game changing. If you have an automatic or any car for that matter, they, Pedal Commander makes, uh, they have applications for almost every vehicle out there. So like I said, if you guys are interested in this, I can tell you like right back when I drove that Subaru, game changer. Uh, ben put one in his Jeep, definitely a game changer. This truck, uh, the turbo, I mean, your power's there instantly. There's no waiting for it to spool, no nothing. It's there. So if you guys are interested in one, like I said, use the code LIME10, you get 10% off your, your pedal commander purchase. Don't forget about that. Uh, and I said, if you're thinking about a throttle response, you know, booster, definitely. I'm, oh, it's like we're in the rodeo. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not even doing <laughs> <laughs> this thing is just ridiculously fun not even like not even uh you know trying to do it on purpose it's just fun it's just there your power's there oh that's great power's just there this thing's fun and uh you know gets the job done that's for sure all right guys we gotta back up now so this will be fun oh actually not that bad there's a car coming but whatever it's actually not bad at all Oh yeah, you could definitely get used to it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh definitely a touchy, definitely a touchy throttle. Going from stock to tuned is like redriving this truck. From stock to tuned to tuned with a new clutch is like learning to redrive this truck. Tuned, new clutch, and a pedal commander. This is, it's like relearning the truck for like the fifth time now. Uh, <laughs> but it, I can tell you that it, every, if you were searching for power in low end and you wanted your, you know, I'm giving this guy some time. But if you were searching for power in the low end. Oh, you just gotta learn because it's so touchy, but like I said, your turbo's ready to go at all times. I'm gonna beat this car off the line here, so I don't wanna wipe out or anything. Holy! Ooh, builds a 
a ridiculous amount really quick there because uh, obviously your throttle it, it takes all the lag out so i mean it's giving you instead of spooling <laughs> this dude going down the street with a hoverboard right now oh my goodness what happens when he runs out of battery <laughs> <laughs> but guys the power is there that's incredible i'm, I'm kind of excited to see how this handles with the 40s when we get up there but and if you're thinking about thinking about one oh highly highly recommend it All right, guys, I'm gonna show you the Pedal Commander app real quick. It says, please enter the code behind your Pedal Commander, but you're gonna use this code right here so your Bluetooth can connect. And just like that, we are connected. As you can see here, we're on Sport Plus Plus One. And you can see the app is on Sport Plus Plus One. You can adjust your Plus One to Plus Two, and it'll do it on here. Uh, go back to Plus One, it'll change it there. Uh, you could change to Sport, It'll change it to sport, uh, so that's what's awesome. Uh, we're gonna go sport plus and leave it on plus one for now. <clears throat> but just like that, um, I guess if you consider each mode itself a setting plus the eight differences in each level, that is technically 36 different settings. But if you count each one and uh, each level within, it's 32. But there, there, technically, there's 36 adjustable settings in your pedal commander. So, guys, yep, I, I honestly forgot to I honestly forgot to touch on the the Bluetooth app because I was just blown away at how well this pedal commander worked. And uh, everything you ever need is already on here, so you never even have to use the app if you don't want. But it's a Bluetooth feature. Uh, I just want to show you the awesome functionality of that because if you wanted to hide that pedal commander completely underneath your dash. You totally, totally could. You would never have to see it. And uh, you could just use your phone app whenever you need to change it. Important note to make if you read the instructions, do not shift on the fly. So when you're driving, come to a stop. If you change it too many times within a certain time period, uh, the truck can't, it recognizes a problem with the throttle and may or may not throw a code. Um, that code can be cleared, but just said don't shift it change it so many times thinking there's a problem when in reality you're just changing the settings and it's sending signals to your throttles so many times that it may throw a code but obviously nothing is wrong uh, you just threw the truck or vehicle out of whack but come to stop shift it and you know play with it you, you you'll you'll really get the hang of it and you'll really learn to love this uh, as you guys saw my reaction and stuff was crazy so like I said use the code lime 10 get you one this changed you know Complete turbo lag delete on this one, guys. Best mod I've done yet, hands down. I mean, I guess besides the clutch to handle it, but spool up is immediate, power's there, ready to go every time. So, so guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to say we are so close to 50,000 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough for your support. Uh, we will probably hit that mark tomorrow. So, um, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the ongoing support, all the comments all the time. Um, you guys coming back to watch these videos it's just a, it's just awesome because like i said i started this channel based off of things i wanted to see that i didn't uh like doing stuff about my clutch i i, I haven't like there's certain things i just wanted to see that i couldn't find a video on so things like that that's made me what start that made me that is what made me start this channel because it's like when i wanted to see some things or needed to learn some things the information or videos weren't there so i want to make videos to help guide people help you know inform people and show people that doing things yourself and doing mods and building a vehicle whether it's a truck jeep car whatever um is an awesome awesome hobby so i want to say thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next video